Drake gave that boy the smoke. Yo, essentially what Drake was saying is you do it. What's good? We are back in the building, back in the stew. This is the Furious Robinson Podcast. I'm your host, Furious, your curator of conversation, wordsmith aficionado, voted most likely to have an amazing first date. And I'm here to speak on it. Joe Budden had some not so kind words for the for all the dogs album, and Drake wasn't really having it. But let's just bring it back because I don't think there's enough respect on Drake's name. Y'all have to put a little bit more respect. I just don't understand the slander because when you think about your favorite rapper, somebody you actually can resonate with is trash. All right, so when do you see your first disc coming? Uh, hopefully, like, back to school time, like, you know, early fall. All right, no, you think I said disc. Disc? Oh, discs. Yeah. When, when do you, I heard the line disc me, I can reply, nice guy. Now, somebody's gonna send a shot. I'm not like you, man. I'm like, I'm a, no, 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 I'm a nice guy. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I'm nice. But you're, very, you're, you're just too witty for your own thing. I be beefing with loser niggas. <laughs> I be beefing with loser sensitive niggas. I don't see it. And it's my job as a rapper to let niggas know that they if, can't. If I get this, it's gonna be it's gonna be a female trying to get at me, I bet. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Sounds different with having out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, Alright, so I try to get this nigga to, to say who he's gonna diss. No, somebody is going to... I'm not going to diss. Diss me and you'll never hear a reply. We heard the line. That was just a line. <laughs> somebody going to say some shit. Yeah. And you're going to feel some type of way. And Yeah, the irony in that. So what is going on? And if you don't know whose voice that is, that's Joe Budden asking young Drake who he's going to diss. Well, damn, Joe, it seems to be you. Because I think in this entire story, the old heads wanted some old head music. Like the old heads just wanted some old head music. And with that, they were like, oh, who can we get it from? The best out, the gold standard, Drake, the boy, right? That video to me just lets me know like, oh, there's something there. It's more than just the music. It has to be, right? Did Drake maybe take your man girl? What happened? Did he take your lady? And when I looked into it, I did a little bit of homework. Yeah, Drake had to hear me around them dolphins. You put another man lady around some dolphins in an island somewhere? Yeah, very much disrespectful. So when Joe gave this critique, I really didn't understand it. Yeah, I just think I, I, I miss the Drake that was rapping but for the rappers. I miss the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Not these little fucking kids. I don't give a fuck about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. It is. It's not hate. It's not hate. It is. It's nice. Go find some niggas your fucking age. Hang out with them. Get some of that sauce. That's the not old, what keeps all you. All no, all that's the not what keeps buy, you popping. All the older niggas Fuck buying music. These kids. That's not what keeps you popping. And if that's exactly. the game he playing, all the old, I gotta play this game. All the stay older popping. niggas streaming music no. and buying it, Joe. No, no, all, no. All, all, that, all, that, old all that shit, shit y'all all saying for me applies to the field. I have long before called this nigga the golden child. Different set of rules apply. Correct. He's him. He is not one of them that y'all telling me about. I don't hold him there. Dog, this yeah, album is going to be the most streamed album in Spotify there, history. Though, Who, why? When, when you that, Even if it ain't good. When you that type of golden... You got the glow. You feel it. When you got that glow. When you that... You ain't... Nigga, you walking in with the glow. I do what I want and that's what's going to be popping. Whatever yes. I want is gonna be popping. So where's the motivation then? With what you just said, where's the motivation? Great point. No, if no, I could do, if I could, right. if I could do whatever I want to do, and it's gonna pop, it's gonna, it's gonna be number one. It's gonna I'm, do all I'm of this. Oh, no, where that, is the motivation? That, that wasn't oh, what oh, I was oh, saying, oh, but oh, that wait, was a double. I'm an And when I look at it like that, Drake had to get some things off his chest. You have failed at music. You left it behind to do what you're doing in this clip, because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter give their opinion on how to achieve longevity. 
You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke, living check to check, and down bad. The raps you write had 450 men showing up to your shows in Dusty and Nietzsche jeans to screw up their face to Mood Music 29 and pretend you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is a poster child of frustration and surrendering, aka a quitter. You retired and we never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. We know you for doing this. We, oh, yo, you withdrew from rap. Not because you accomplished all you needed. It's because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in the generation to think that the whole everybody's entitled to their own opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself if you need me to pull it into simpler terms, I own a 767 Boeing cargo jet. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies first class on special occasions, aka birthdays, anniversaries, and maybe bonus. I don't know. Drake gave that boy the smoke. <laughs> Yo, essentially what Drake was saying is you do it. If you a rapper, go ahead and rap. Make the young boy, make the old Jay-Z 444 music that you want to hear to your demo. Drake's demo is not your demo. When it comes to marketing advertisers, and you know what time it is, that bottom line, you're going to reach for your demo. Just like how you take shots via this album, you got to reach a demo. A lot of guys are backing you in that point so there's going to be a lot of young men that are backing drake and when i look at it that's the way i took the tweet i looked at it as like yo come on bro i've been doing this for 15 years you quit you quit in maybe year five or six and now you're a podcaster which is nothing wrong with that i appreciate joe in the space because he is elevating the podcast realm for sure but when it comes to that rap everybody has to be quiet. Nobody is on Drake's level. That's a fact. 15 years. Please point them out. Avidly dropping year over year. And quality. Music we can actually talk about. Music that we're probably going to go back and listen to two years from now, three years from now. Because a lot of y'all still listen to Take Care. A lot of y'all still listening to it. Like I was listening to Scorpion this morning. Still slaps. Views still slaps. Like, what are we saying here? Drake has given us classic after classic. We made it. Go on a SoundCloud and just type in OVO and his hits on there. Put some respect on the boy's name. Even Birdman had to chime in. Birdman was like, yo, y'all boys got to shut up. Like, y'all got to chill. The man is doing his thing and he's on tour. How many rappers can actually be on tour, be doing interviews, making an album, drops the album. It's quality. The tour is sold out. Bruh, somebody has to help me out in this one. This one makes no sense. This, this is like Yachty rapping. This is like he rapping for the children. And that's my, yo dog, I had to look up how old this nigga was when I finished listening to the album. Uh -huh. You are 36. Your birthday is in 20 days. I Googled that too. You will be 37 <laughs> years old. Get the fuck away from some of these younger niggas and stop fucking these 25 year olds. I'm listening to the album. He mentioned it. <laughs> Why are you still fucking the 25 year olds? You're a 37 year old billionaire. I get it that you appeal to the world. When they current, I get it that you appeal niggas to don't the world. Grow up. And part of that nah, is that. niggas don't want to grow but up. But that's what I'm loving they about Cole. Like my shit is happening in reverse. So to me, this is pure hate. Joe is just hating here. Why did you need to look up this man's age? Come on, come on now, Joe. You didn't need to do that. So when I'm looking at it like that, I had to look into it. I was like, Yo, how old is Joe Budden and the people on this podcast? Joe Budden is 43. 
So plus or minus, everybody is anywhere from 35 to about 50. That's the age range for me, plus or minus. So he dated the podcast. He, he kind of aged it in a sense where you're calling Drake young and getting hot because he's smacking 25 year olds. Who cares? That's what's out in the streets. Like if you were actually dating, you would maybe know that, yo, them 25 year olds probably be a little bit of middle ground. They're not 21 to where they are goofy brain and have no idea about life. And they're not 33 or 34 to the point where they want to have children and get married. Nice little happy medium. Drake is enjoying his life. He's on tour. Who cares? You're being hypocritical. You would do the same exact thing. Drake said it in the tweet. I'm doing things he wanted to do in his career. It's a little bit of jealousy. It's a little bit of envy in there. I don't think we need the aged version of Drake. Not yet. I'm not ready for it. I like what he put out. I like that he's tapping in with Yeet. I like that he's tapping in with Sexy Red. I like the Tizo touchdown feature. Like, I like these things. But, hey, it's a little bit different for me. Maybe in this case, Joe wanted to hear that 444. So, go ahead and replay that Nas album that just came out, right? Get your different fix from those guys. That's how I'm looking at it because to me, like I said, the album was fire. I'm going to keep playing it back. When I finish with this pod, I'm going to run it right back. What do you mean? Come on. We got to put some respect on Drake's name. Like, it's just very different. The man that, the fact that he's on tour, like, you just got to give this man all of the props and all of the kudos. How? Who's working this hard? This is, that's the thing that, <laughs> That's the thing that rubs me the wrong way. This man is working extremely hard. He's on tour and creating an album at the same time. The album came out and yeah, it's a couple of skips on there, but for the majority, the album is solid. And if anything, where's your rapper? I don't see anyone else dropping. It's the fourth quarter. Don't you want to make some fourth quarter bread? Don't you want to finish the year strong? What is going on? So in the, Case of Joe Budden versus Drake, I give Drake the one up right now because, yo, if Mans is saying I'm in a 767 cargo jet, flying all over the country, making music, having my way with things, and you're sitting on a podcast talking about me and how my creative work wasn't up to your old head standards, doesn't make any sense. So, Joe, go drop an album. Go drop, come back, come back. Drop that part two, right? You got to drop that part two if you want to really talk to the boy. But, hey, I'm not here for it. Yeah, like, let's just stop. If people are putting in hard work, if they really getting it done, and I guess the trolls going to be there, the critique, it's never going to be perfect. Everyone is never going to love your work. I get it. I understand. Music is subjective, but damn. Put some respect on the boy's name. If you're here, tap in. Let me know what you think. Drop a 1 to 10. How was for all the dogs for you? Drop the comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Drop a comment and subscribe. You see the planes. We trying to get it done. This is the Furious Robinson Podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we up. We up.